You know how it is early in the morning on the water? Everything's quiet except for the seagulls. A long way off. And you feel great. And then you come ashore and it starts. And in no time at all, you're up to your ears in trouble. And you don't know where it began. I need some gas, 200 gallons. I can't carry you, Harry. I got strict orders. We carried you long enough, the boss says. Look, I got a three weeks shot of the fish in Mexico, so Mitch Joe, and when I get... Didn't the Joe give you a deposit? Yeah, yeah. Forget it. Yeah. When he gets through, take the boat back to the landing, huh? See you later. She's aboard last night. Most of it's stored under the box up forward. I hope you put in plenty of coffee and tomatoes. <laughs> well, you know how I like tomatoes. Uh-uh, no tomatoes. They're bad for you. I had to give the store all the money you gave me from the deposit. They wouldn't wait. That's great. That makes it perfect. Everybody in town is squeezing me for money. They act like I'm going to cheat them out of it. It's been a bad season. Nobody's got much. Yeah. Better eat your breakfast. Morning, Dad. You know you're getting old enough not to wander around like that? I told you once, Connie. I told you a thousand times you're not to go around like that. Yeah, I don't see what difference it makes. Don't talk fresh to your mother. What's the matter with the bathroom all of a sudden? Amy's in there. She's always in there. Well, get her out. It's nearly time for school. Okay. Kids got no respect these days. You know, you try to teach What's them something. What's the something. matter, Harry? I had to pay for the gas. Took all, all the money I had left from the deposit. Doesn't leave much for you when I'm gone. Don't worry about it. We'll get along somehow. I know, I know. I always do. I, I feel like a knothead asking you all the time. Hi, Pie. Hi, Pumpkin. Come here, Smoochie. Mmm. Mm. Say, you have whiskers. I do not. You have. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh. Eat your breakfast. I better get my gear. What's the matter? You heard. Eat your breakfast. Hurry okay, up. Okay, I'll be in a minute. We'll be all right. I said don't worry about it. I get teed off sometimes. No sooner would I get my head above water when somebody pushes me down again. Is it us, me and the kids? Are we a drag on you, Harry? Is that it? Well, you know better than that. Uh, tell me that... Huh, ever since I took that uniform off, I'm not exactly great. I thought by this time I'd have the world on fire. Bands playing, kids yelling, big hero. Remember? <laughs> we had egg in our beer then. Nobody ever got rich taking people out to catch a fish. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't start giving me that propaganda about your old man's lettuce ranch. Do me a favor, please. Don't tell me how happy I'd be on a tractor. When you came back, you had big ideas about this fishing business. You are going to have a whole fleet of boats. It hasn't worked out, has it? Let it go, darling. Try something else. What else do I know? What else am I good at? I'm a boat jockey. And that's all I know. All right. Anything you say. You're some woman. I lay awake hours last night, just thinking about you. I can think about you any time and get excited. Hold me. Mm -hmm. Just hold me. That's it. Hey, we'll be late for school. Sorry, fix my dress. Oh, you're always so sloppy. Oh, well, you're hey. <laughs> One of these days, remind me to show you kids how to knock. You go on along. We'll be right out. Come on. Okay. Come on, Connie. Ooh. Let me fix your belt. You're always such a smart uh, Darling, if you run short, well, these are worth a hundred apiece. We'll get by. Okay. It's Wesley! Oh, 
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Don't be so shy. Say hello. Yeah, I'll say hello. Yeah. He's shy. Hello. <laughs> Want to see Pete the go? Yeah, good morning, yeah. Wesley. Good morning, Mrs. Morgan. Well, let's go, huh? You and Harry, go ahead. The girls will take Joseph to school. Hey, kids. So long. Bye. Bye. Bye, -bye. Come on, come on. That's enough. Off to school. Oh, we won't be right. Here they come. What do you mean, they? All right, eh? Uh-huh. This is Captain Morgan, Leona. Miss Charles is going with us. I always wanted to meet a captain. Let's get something straight, Mr. Hannigan. I only hire this boat for fishing. If I do anything wrong, you be sure to tell me. Do you fish? Ooh, I don't think I like you. A lot of people don't. What about it, Mr. Hannigan? You're the captain, Captain. Come on, Happy. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to sunny Mexico. Let's shove off! You're getting a nice tan. I got work to do, and you make me nervous. I don't usually get complaints. Yeah, here's friend. In a few days, I'll never see you again. You're a nice girl, and I'll be nice. Yeah, nice. No future in it. When do you figure on starting back? Tomorrow, maybe, or the day after. I've had enough fishing. Well, uh, we might as well settle up, then. I'll need money for gas and the clearance paper. Sure thing, Captain. I shouldn't have kept you waiting this long. I didn't think you'd have any place to spend it down here. Oh, I can use it. We're going over to that rooster place. Come by and have a drink, and we'll settle up. El Gallo? I'll see you there. Precios populares, vean la pelea de gallos, vean pelear los gallos de sangre azul, no dejen de perder la pelea de gallos, no dejen de perder la pelea de gallos. Mire mi gallo, señora. No dejen de ver la pelea de gallos en el bar, el gallo. Hey, señor capitán. Long time no see. Yeah, I'm with a party. Americans, you seen them? Maybe in back. Cockfight. Oh. Morgan, nice to see someone from back home, friend. I've been down here a couple of weeks already. Cheating who? Oh, don't talk like that, Harry. I've been handling a divorce case. You ought to hear the evidence. I'm busy. Say, just not a touch. Come here. Business for both of us. Something good. Want to take a couple of passengers back with you on the boat? There's money in it. I've got passengers. You can name your own price. No trouble, I guarantee it. You can do a lot with that money. Not in jail, I couldn't. Think it over. You can name your own price. An honest man like you with an honest boat. 
worth a lot to some people. Me, I don't care. I can take it or leave it, being honest. But it's worth money to some people. You got me crying. When are you going to realize I'm a friend of yours? Hey, you want to meet a nice girl? She just got a divorce. You're poison. Take it over. What I said. Encantado, señorita. Vámonos, muchachos. Don't you like cockfights? Oh, that trouble for an egg. Sit down. Thanks. Wait, on. I'll have a daiquiri. Two beers. May I? Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh. Gold, huh? My fiance. Oh. Hooray for him. It's the nicest thing you've ever done for me. The only thing. Everything in Mexico is nice. It's romantic. Except you. You haven't even been friendly to me. Don't you want to be friendly? Sure, I want to be friendly. My wife wouldn't like it. <laughs> You're kidding. No. Oh, so you're one of those. Uh -huh. I don't meet many. Is she pretty? She's got something for me. We're something together. Spoils everything else for me. How do you know you try? <laughs> you two get along all right, don't you? You get along fine. Sporting blood here lost a lot of money, in fact. He's sore. Maybe I got a right. Oh, speaking of money, are you... How much do I owe you? Well, it's figured out to $830. Well, I need cash. I don't carry that kind of money around with me. I can get it for you when the bank opens tomorrow, or if you'd rather... Oh, never mind. I can wait. You can give it to me in the morning. Uh, we can shove off any time after 10 o'clock. I'll need the money, though, so we can clear the port. Don't worry. Waiter. You'll be on the boat later? Uh-huh. Just like that. Good night. Thanks for nothing. I hope I never see another rooster again as long as I live. Thirty. We'll never make it back today. Where are they? He said a little after ten. You know what I'm thinking? I've been thinking it since noon. Where's Hannigan? If we're gonna make it today, we better shove off. He left on the plane. He what? Toast. Left on the plane. Almost caught him, but when I got to the airport, he was already aboard. He waved to me. That he? I never did like the way he smiled all the time. Let's go. We got things to do. He, uh, I hate to ask, but it took every cent I had to pay the hotel. Could I go back with you? Who's going back? I need a hundred bucks to clear the port, and I got eighty cents toward it. If I can't scrabble up some dough, we all better learn Spanish. Uh, last night, a guy in a white suit, I was talking to him. His name is Duncan, a squinty guy. That guy is no good. I know that better than you. You know where he hangs out? Yeah, pro café sometimes. Well, uh, tell him, uh, tell him Harry Morgan will talk business. You, uh... You're not fixing to get in trouble. Oh, don't worry about it. I can handle it. All I want to do is talk to this guy, find out what's on his mind. Now, look here. Please do me a favor and shut up about it. Hey, 
sell a couple of reels, maybe. I don't want to sell any reels. You got a head like a rock. I heard your party ran out on you. Too bad. Not so big anymore, huh? Don't talk so big now. Good thing for you, I like you. And maybe I wouldn't do you a favor like this. Give you a chance to make a little dough. You're not doing me any favor. I'm trying to help you. I got sympathy for you. I'm all choked up. What's this big deal of yours? Carry anything on the boat? Maybe. Anything? We can talk about it. Come on. I am Mr. Singh, Captain Morgan. Sit down. Is your boat fast, Captain? I told you, very fast, like the wind. Are you particular what you carry? It depends. I'd rather it couldn't talk. It'd be cheaper that way. This cargo talks. Chinese, it talks. Why me? An honest man, an honest boat. Who would think an honest man like you would smuggle Chinamen on his boat? How much ahead? Eight at two hundred dollars. What do you get ahead? That's quite beside the point. I have a lot of things to do that have to be paid for. He means me. Sixteen hundred dollars is a lot of money right now. Don't fight it, Harry. Relax. Let it happen. You know how long I go to jail if they pick me up on this? Ten years. At least that, if there was evidence against you. Let me put it this way, Captain. Once they leave here, I don't care what becomes of our passengers. Not at all. Claro? Clear enough. When will I get the money? 300 now, and the rest when you load. So? I'm thinking about it. Don't push me. Keeping your boat, getting home, that's important too. I'm on the hook. That 300. Put it under the plate. It will be tonight. He will meet you here at 9 and give you all the necessary details. No baggage. No guns, knives, or razors. Nothing. I have to be sure of that. Claro? Of course. Trust me. Our interests are identical. My commission. Oh, you guys, all the same. You talk big. How honest you are. You walk away when you see somebody like me coming. And when you get in the gym, <laughs> just like anybody else. A chiseler. Customs office in San Diego? Yes. You are going back alone? Mm-hmm. What about your mate, this uh, Wesley Park? Well, I'm going back alone. It is difficult to go alone. I like it that way. Hey, you got the clearance. Yeah. We're going back then. You're not going. What do you mean, I'm not going? I said you're not going. Now, don't pester me about it. Well, you're not going to leave me here. What's the matter with you, Harry? You're not going back with me. Twelve years. We've worked together twelve years. And now you order me around. You throw me off the boat, leave me on the beach, all this way from home, and you won't even say why. I wouldn't do a thing like this to you. You're right, you wouldn't, but I can't carry you. Here, take the bus. If you're there, I'll pick you up in San Diego tomorrow afternoon at Francisco's dock. Where'd you get this? You made a deal, didn't you? You lied to me. You went and made a deal. That's why you want me off the boat. Get away from me. Get out of my hair. Harry? Harry! What is this? You moving in? 
I told you I checked out of the hotel. I'm broke. Yeah. Get your gear and you're on your way. Okay. Come on, step on. All right, I will. But ask me, dear. Don't push. Thanks for the money, anyhow. Forget it. Yeah, I'll try. That's it right there. Kind of a little cold. Mm -hmm. You can come in close. Now, they'll be there at 2 o'clock. When they flash the light, you'll go in. Watch out for the patrol boat. You got it? If I get stupid, I'll call you. Stay by the phone. Wise guy with your mouth. Watch yourself, Harry. This Mr. Singh, how long has he been here? A couple of years. Somebody else before that. He got killed. Somebody will kill Mr. Singh, too. You'd have to be quick. I hear Singh's very quick. Well, see you back in Newport. Hold that thought. You went to town. Brother, you're in trouble. I thought you had more sense. You know the kind of jam I was in. That's why I came back on board. After all this time, I wouldn't throw you off the boat without a good reason. I'll stick around. Whatever it is, I'm a good man. You, uh... You know how to use this? Just pump the lever and shoot it. Yeah. Only don't put any holes in the hull. What's it gonna be? I'll tell you when it's time. Maybe I should have swam back to Newport. Or is it swam? <laughs> Either way, it could still happen. You'll get over thinking it's so funny. Now watch it. We're going in without lights. Take this. You'll need it. What's the score? We're picking up eight Chinese. We'll go to jail a hundred years if we get caught. When they come aboard, get them below fast. If any of them start busting out, take that deer gun and blow their heads off. Is it too late to get out of it? Why not get out of it? Too late. Yeah. Uh-uh. I'm sorry about before. What I said. I didn't realize. It's a mess, all right. It might get very messy. If you ever feel like telling anybody about it, remember, you're in it up to your ears. I'll remember. You're gonna smuggle these Chinese into the States? The guy that's bringing them out isn't particular what happens to them. You hire me to take them offshore and drown them. On shore, lights breaking. That's it. You, come over here. Keep down and out of the way. You'll feel better. If you take us in, I'll watch for their boat from the cockpit. Don't move away from the controls, no matter what happens. When I yell, pour it on and get us away fast. Let's do it right the first time. I'm all set. All I worry about is you. Blink them twice. What are you going to do with the Chinese? I'll think about it. Powerboat coming out, 11 o'clock. Just a minute. 
Tell me, Tanya. Let's see what it looks like. I'm going on There's only 300 here. That's a long way off from what we talked about. You'll get the rest when they're all aboard. All right, come on. Hurry up. Come on, show them forward, Wes. Come on. Lock the cabin. Now, let's see the color of it, Mr. Singh. My expenses have been very heavy. Wes, our passengers are getting off. Well, that won't be necessary, Captain. I have the rest of the money right here. Anything like that before. Plenty of accidents and things like that, but I never saw a guy get it all the way before. There's always a first time. Shut up. Shut up or I'll blow your brains out. What are you gonna do with it? Put him ashore someplace. We'll go close to the beach. You take the boat hook forward. And you can touch Sing out. Suddenly, you understand? Yeah. Now over you go. Come on, over you go. No swim. No deep. Walk. Here, I'll show you. No deep. See? Walk. Come on. Over you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Step on. Step on it. Come on. Let's get out of here. Are you hurt? Nah, nothing. You better get some sleep. We'll be off San Diego by daylight, I'll call you. Keep 
Roger speaking. The Sea Queen's just coming in now, Chief. but I think we got a reception committee. I don't suppose I'll see you again. No. Do me a favor, though. Where can I find Hannigan? I don't know. Where did you meet him? In Sunday school. Hey, Rogers. How's it going? All right. You want it like that? Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. What are you guys doing over here anyway? Who's this? A passenger I picked up in San Diego. Give your name and address to them. Town or country. taking the boat. What, what do you mean you're taking the boat? What for? I think you know. We got a wire from the port captain at Ensenada. What are you giving me? All I know is a Chinese who can read some English said he was on the Sea Queen night before last headed for the United States. Uh, that's a lot of horse collar. Give me the keys. Try and take them away from me. Ah, don't make trouble. You know I have to do what I'm told. It's orders, Harry. We're cooperating with Mexico. They're holding a hearing and I have to impound your boat. That's the way it is. I make my living with this boat. You're taking my living away from me. All right. Come on. Leona Charles, Chatham Towers, apartment 3C, Tucker, 4906. lost the boat, Harry. Heard you got in trouble down in Mexico. I'm crazy about you, Mrs. Cooley, but how would you like to mind your own business for once? <gasps> Why, Harry Morgan, if I were a man, I... A long way toward it with that bill. <gasps> Something. Why should I bring you something? I know you did. You always do. You're a nice daddy. You know, nice daddies are pretty hard to find. You weren't hard to find. Nothing. I, uh, I think there are a couple of boxes in the bag, I think. Oh! The big one is for your mother. Where is she? She went to the store. Oh, you pine. What's this package? Hello, Harry. Hello, dear. Mine are the prettiest. Mine's the prettiest. It is not. It is true. It is not. I've got an Indian on mine. Well, mine's pretty. Have you eaten? No. I'm fixing something. Well, I'm fixing something. You're fixing it. It has a big fat nose and a long shirt. You've got a lot of hair. Was it a nice trip? I'm going to take another look at your teacher. Hey, hey, hey. I can't hear myself think. What'd you say, honey? I said, was it a good trip? Did everything go all right? Sure, sure. Oh, mine's the prettiest. You haven't forgotten there's a payment due on the boat. Phillips called about it. No, I haven't forgotten. I heard from my father the other day. He says they're getting the biggest lettuce crop they ever had in Salinas. Hooray for Salinas. He needs help, he says. He has to hire a foreman. They're so busy, and I thought... May... You know, don't you? Is there something to know? Don't kid me. I've been gone over three weeks. The minute I, I walk in... I don't want to fight. Well, I do. Harry, please, the children. Mrs. Cooley... Let her you? hear. I want her to hear. Why start keeping secrets from her now? Why hold out on her? Listen, you know, don't you? You know I got in trouble in Mexico and lost the boat. Everybody in Newport knows. That's all they're talking about. That's why I suggested... What's so great about lettuce? Don't yell at me. Get it straight, once and for all. I don't like Salinas. I'm not going to squat on my hunkers in the flea-bitten field, trying to pick lettuce faster than the bugs can eat it. 
I was only trying to help. Then stop nagging me. That's the way to help me. Stop nagging. I'm not nagging. I'm just trying to talk sense to you, and you won't listen. If you'd only realize what I've been going through the last three weeks. Don't give me that purple heart routine. You've got a wife and two kids to think about. Keeping us together, getting us enough to eat, clothes for our backs. That's the biggest war there is, and you better realize it. It's war, all right? No, I'm scared. You said to always not. Can we go to the movies? You saw it last night. We want to see it again. Honest, we do. Kids, come here. Did you like the presents? Oh, they're beautiful. Mine's the prettiest. <laughs> hey, you can go to the movies. <gasps> oh, oh, gee, thanks. Be careful crossing Marine Avenue. Sure, Dad. We'll be careful. And don't slam the door on the way out. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry I yelled at you. You always do when you're in trouble. What happened down there? No, nothing. It was a mistake. It'll straighten out. I heard there was a girl on the boat. I heard she was pretty. Not very. Hannigan's girl. He ran out on her. I wouldn't say she was pretty. I just wondered. She had moles. A lot of them. How old was she? With her moles. <laughs> oh, not more than 40. Yeah, nice legs, huh? Hey, what was that for? For noticing her legs. Listen, you listen. Harry, don't, don't. I brought you a present from Mexico. Harry, the kids might come back. It's education. Harry, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's dry. They told me that Mexican here, he wouldn't take over a week. They're looking for some guy down there. He'll be over soon. Yeah, that's for the birds. Fishing season is almost over. I'm a hole for a payment. I owe Phillips two months now. Well, don't look at me. Wasn't my idea taking your boat away from you. I worked ten years trying to get a boat of my own. Now I'm losing her. All anybody can say to me is don't look at me. Anything else you want to do? No. Let's go. What back. If you need something done, give me a ring. Thanks for letting me work on it. It's your boat. Tell him I got a job for him. Sure. Well, what's a good word? Crud, that's a good word. What happened to the boat? You know what happened to it. What went wrong? Plenty. Shut up about it. Why don't you retain me to do something about the boat? I'll retain you to throw yourself off a building. You need some good advice. I like you. I'll take care of it for you. Free. I don't need any advice. If I did, I wouldn't ask you, you crook. Don't call me names. I was just trying to do you a favor. Go do Johnny Cooley a favor. Hey, never saw you drinking in the afternoon before. Take your finger out of your mouth and shove off, will you? Look, you're up the creek. I want to help you. I uh, might have something for you in a week or so. A uh, party might want to charter the boat. Some friends of mine. Go talk to the Coast Guard. I don't have the boat, and I had friends of yours on it. It took too long to blow the stink off. Now get away from me. You smell bad. You shouldn't talk like that to people that are trying to help you. Tell Johnny Cooley to give me a ring. What kind of place you're on here anyway? Oh, he's harmless. He's two pounds in a one-pound bag. That's what he is. 
Charlie, I got any credit here? I want to turn myself loose. Go ahead. Put a dent in it. Thanks. Hello, H. Morgan. Hi. Ask around. They said this is where you hang out. If you ever hang out, you never call me. There wasn't anything to talk about. Supposing I found Hannigan. Where is he? I don't know. But if I did, there'd be something to talk about, wouldn't there? It's a very funny joke. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you don't act nice to me. What are you doing down here in Newport, anyway? Down here with some friends. One of them owns a yacht, naturally. I would have thought you had enough of boats by this time. Depends upon whose boat it is. Turn it off. Turn it off. Don't forget who your friends are. I've been a good little girl, keeping my mouth shut and speaking only when spoken to. You can afford to be polite to me. You know you got a point there? They sent somebody to interview me about the trip. Then you said? I said it was a nice, uneventful trip. You're a good girl. Sure. I'm dreamy. You do everything so hard. No matter what it is, you do it hard. Have you always been like that? Yeah, I guess you have. Guys like you don't get like that overnight, do they? This is a wonderful conversation. What's a guy like you doing around boats, anyhow? You could have been anything. Oh, Scott, all I know is boats. I can see a mile and a half mile off, and that's my talent. We're leaving, honey. Goodbye. Arthur's getting mad. Tell him it's bad for his ulcers. You know you're crazy. I can see a mile and a half mile off, too. There's always another one. That's my talent. You know, one of these days you're gonna get your arm broke, reaching for something that don't belong to you? So long as it's for a good cause. You kind of wear a guy down. Are you getting worn down? Are you? I'm getting used to you. Morgan, you stink. <laughs> hey, look who's here. I didn't know you were with somebody. Charlie called me. He said he thought you'd need somebody to take you home. That is, that's what he thought. Oh, sure, sure. Two drinks and you can't tell one house from another on our street. Oh, uh, Leona, this is my wife, Lucy. Lucy, this is Leona, Leona... Leona Charles, Mrs. Morgan. I came back from Mexico on your husband's boat. Oh, well, you're the girl he told me about. I had you pictured a little different. I'm with some people. I just thought I'd say hello to Harry, and we wound up having a drink. Will you have a drink? No, thanks. It gives her a headache. You look like you got a headache now. I was doing the housework. I didn't know... That is, I didn't... I think I will have a drink. I envy you, Mrs. Morgan. Must be wonderful having a place of your own and a family to look after. Try it. I will sometime. Were you in Mexico with your husband, Mrs. Charles? I'm not married. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't have to go on like this. There's no reason for it. None at all. One of the few bad habits I have is telling the truth. Yakety, yakety, yakety. What are you two talking about? She was just telling me that nothing happened with you two in Mexico, and I believe her. I told you that. Men. Women. Well, I guess it's late enough for me to say it's late. I have to meet those people. So long. Excuse me. It's a present. It was a sample. It's lovely. It's too fragile, maybe. You have to hold it gently. Then anything worth having should be held gently. It wouldn't do for me, then. I hold on tight to what I have. Well. You know something? You, you two were talking about yakking away, but I don't know what if you I were talking I remember right. What you said was not more than 40. <laughs> Is she? 
If that wasn't silly enough. Moles. <laughs> For all I know, she's covered with them. Got pretty hair, though. Nice legs. They're all right. For walking. Meow, meow. Let's go home. I've got my headache. I knocked it pretty hard. Well, forget it. I'll fill it up with water. Thanks for calling, Charlie. Hey. Let's go. They don't understand. They're ashamed of me. They're ashamed of their own man. Shame. They're ashamed. Surely they're ashamed of me. They're at that age. They expect us to be perfect. I can't take it anymore. A lot of things I can't take anymore. <laughs> I used to think I was a pretty tough guy. You're a man. You're more of a man than anybody I ever met. Not anymore. I wake up in the night sweating. I'm in trouble and there's no way out. No way out. You'll get it back. It isn't the boat. I'm not thinking of that. It's that, it's that guy. What guy? The one I killed in Mexico. What happened down there? You have to tell me. Harry. What happened? A uh, guy pulled a gun on me. I shot him. It's been eating on me ever since. I, I can't get it out of my mind. Because if he started, it wasn't your fault. Morgan, huh? The Coast Guard wants you over at their landing. I've got a job here. Can't it wait? Rogers says right now something about your boat. They got it up there. Well, what does Rogers want me for? I don't know. He said to bring you over to the cutter. That's all he said. I'll go with you. Stay here. more about Mexico. I'm sick of hearing about it. I got work to do, so make it short. You won't mind this. We're giving it back to you. What? Your boat. Your friend Duncan got a court order. I didn't hire him to get me no court order. Maybe he just likes you. Anyhow, there's your boat. You know, you're getting off easy, and we don't like it. If we catch you one inch out of line from now on, we're gonna jump on you with both feet. You got something on me. Do something about it. Otherwise, leave it lay. Here are the keys. You've been a big help. Well, Big Shot, here we are. Free, like I said, Big Shot. I told you, you want something done? I got ways. Why'd you do it? Call it a favor. Don't give me that. You'd sell your own mother if she was worth anything. Hey, don't get mean. I'll give you something to get mean about. How did you get tough? Three days after you left Mexico, a Chinaman's body was washed ashore at San Diego. You know which way the current runs. What do you want from me? Talk soft. Nobody knows where the Chinaman come from. Not yet they don't know. Except me. I know. All you gotta do to keep me happy is talk polite. That is a much. You guys, you never learn. You're hard. You don't bend. You just break when the load gets too heavy. Give a little roll with it. Relax. What it happen? Well, I'd let what happen. These uh, friends of mine in St. Louis, I told you, they want to charter your boat. It's more than just a charter. There's money in it. A little risk, maybe, but a lot of money. If it's like that, it's not for me. I thought you had cuts. I got a belly full of them, and you too. I got a belly full of you. You don't do right by me. I got in the jam, I lost the boat, and you got it back for me. Okay, we're even now. We'll keep it that way. 
All right. You know, I just made it, getting the boat back. There was only one jump ahead of the ship, but what was his name? Phillips? He wanted the boat, too. He's got a right since you haven't paid him all summer. Come and see me when you learn to relax. that just pops in the bowl. And now, Ronnie Pettigrew, Hello. age eight, is having a birthday today. Turn that if off. If you look under your pillow, Here, Ronnie, you'll find... Candy hair set? Uh-huh. Can't you come out? No, put the potatoes on. Can you help? Gee, Mama, it's my favorite program. Can we go over to Eve Collins' house? For supper? Do you like it? It's awful. What did you do that for? Really, Mother, we'll be the laughing stock. The absolute laughing stock. Don't you get fresh. And you either, young lady. I wasn't going to say anything. Stop staring at me. You make me nervous. What are you waiting around for? We were invited to separate Eve Collins. Can we go now? You can go and stay a week if you want to. Come on. I never thought my mother would do anything like that. Hey, I got the boat back. Don't get mad. It'll go out again. I got it back this m Hey, Lucy! I got the boat back. I got it back. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. How do you like that? It's in bad shape. We have to haul out and do some work on it. Is that a new dress? No, you don't. There's something... To... When did that happen? Today. Is it all right? Sure. Sure. It's, it's great. I mean, look at you. You don't like it. Well, sure I do. It's, it's different. It, you got to get used to it. It's great, though. It, it does something for you. I can always have it changed back. What for? Beautiful. Beautiful. It was naturally so dark they didn't want to do it, but I made the hairdresser keep on with it. The kids say it looks awful. Does it look awful? Ah, uh, what do they know? You really want me to leave it this way? I could make it blonder. No. That's the way I like it. You don't think I look too old? You look better than any of them. I wanted to do something, Harry. I wanted to do something. I know, I know. <laughs> I've been thinking, we could take the boat out ourselves and do some fishing, with hand lines. Getting good money for fish now. A cousin of mine who works in the fish store, so they're having a big run on halibut. Hello, you... Mr. Phillips. I had to take it away from you, Harry. What? What'd you say? I'm going to take your boat. I haven't made a nickel since June. I was counting on that payment from you. I got bills of my own to pay, and you haven't even been in to see me. Well, I was waiting to get the money I owed you first. Do yourself a favor. Let the boat go. Let me have it. It's only dragging you down trying to hang on to it. Well, what are you going to do with it? Let it rot like these? For the Sea Queen, I got to buy her. Well, give me another month, Mr. Phillips. I can't. I feel rotten coming down here, but I can't let it go anymore. Please. Please, you got to give me a break. Well... All right. I can stall this guy maybe two weeks. But that's all I can give you. You're a good guy. I appreciate it. Sure. Two weeks? 
You're kidding yourself if you think you can make it. I'll make it. I tried. You have to give me that. I tried every way I knew. We even went out fishing with hand lines. Only it wouldn't pay for the gas. Then Lucy got that job in the sail loft and started bringing work home. And that broke my back. I told you not to take that job. But we had to do something. All relaxed, huh? Got money troubles. Come and see Doc Duncan and get some good advice. Step inside. That's my advice, free. Like always. Because I like it. <laughs> I'm fond of you. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> Let's relax. This Captain Morgan? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he looks hungry. What's your first name, Morgan? What's yours? Let's not get excited. What does he know? <laughs> Just what you said. You want to charter his boat. That's what you told me. That's what I said. Nothing added, nothing left out. You got a loose mouth and I don't like it. <clears throat> what do you want for the boat? Depends what you want to do with her. We want to go out, straight out. Maybe 50 miles. There's no fish out there. I say there is. He knows a lot about it, Harry. Honestly does. Go easy. What happens 50 miles out? Who could say? We might possibly see another boat. Perhaps a bigger one. A little more comfortable. We may even decide to change boats. Things like that are very possible. I only charter for fishing. All right, for fishing, what do you charge? One thousand dollars. Mm. You suck, Nita. I didn't tell him anything. I didn't tell him a thing. There's no fish out there, mister. I don't know where you're going, so it's extra. If you want to fish where I say to fish, it's 40 bucks a day, that's all. But if we go outside the jetty and you tell me where to go from there, it's a thousand dollars, and that's reasonable. It is reasonable, believe me. This boat and this man, you couldn't do any better. I make up my own mind. You gonna take a chance with this chump? Yeah. You spoke easy, you got nervous? Only when I don't get paid for what I do. Where do you think the money is coming from? I don't want to know. If I know, I don't go for it. When can you leave? Any time. I need a few hours to get ready to get gas. If I were to show you a place on a map, could you get there? I can navigate. I can go and I can come. Maybe one of you can help me. None of us know anything about it. Oh. Is, uh, is there anything else you want to see me about? No. Nope. That's all. I'll let you know what's decided. I'll keep in touch with you. I don't know whether these gentlemen will want to go fishing right away, but I'll keep in touch with you. You do that. The money I'll want it in advance. If and when we go, you'll get it the first thing. Uh, Captain. Don't count on any notice to get gas. If you hear from us, just fill it up right away. I'll see you later, after it's decided. Where? Short club in a half an hour. All right. Hi, Harry. Hi. Back room open. I want to talk to Duncan when he gets here.
Well, hello. Hello yourself. Who is that? Friend of my fiance. I just got back from Catalina. I must look a mess, huh? How was it? Well, if you've seen one island, you've seen them all. I didn't expect to see you again. Why not? I liked your wife. I told you. I, I know. Special. Don't keep telling me. I like to think I'm special, too. Anyhow, I liked her. Not enough to want a long conversation about her. Not that much. I never know what people are talking about in a joint like this. <laughs> Don't mind me. It was rough coming back from the island. Maybe I envy your wife a little. You know, I didn't believe you when you told me you were in love with her. Usually, when a man tells me he loves his wife, it ends up with but. Not me. Yes, yes, yes. I believe it. I have to, or where's my ego? You know what an ego is. Don't bite me. I got nothing against you. You're special, all right. Good looking, smooth like that. A man can be in love with his wife and still want something exciting to happen. Alas. But. I love my wife, but. I guess it shows through. You know, uh, my wife dyed her hair. Coincidence. I've been thinking of letting mine grow out. Speaking of coincidences, I live here. Number seven. My friends just kicked the door open. Harry, come on. Let's go. Don't get carried away. I got other things on my mind. Telling the story of your life, I could have died a bit buried waiting for you. Not a bad idea. That's the way to talk. Don't mock me that way. Keep your mouth off me. What are you so shaky about? What's the score with your friends? They uh, made up their minds. They want the boat tomorrow afternoon, 3.30, exactly. What's it gonna be? You said you didn't want to know. That was before, in front of them. Now I want to know. It's, uh, it's a racetrack, cash room, doing the third race. They'll do it right while the race is on, all in a minute and a half. They got it all figured. How it's supposed to go, everybody will be chasing another car right afterwards. They come down to Porter's dock and they shove off with you. Nobody knows about it. They gotta take me by force. I know nothing about it. I'll be working around. They have to hold a gun on me to make me start it. I'll tell them. Who's gonna drive them? Yeah, uh, some taxi driver. What's he supposed to think they are, violinists? We'll get one that don't think. We'll get one with no kids. <laughs> they all got kids. Ever see a taxi driver without kids? You're pretty scabby. I never killed anyone. You never will, either. Where's the money for me? You'll get it tomorrow. Don't get it now. You've got it on you. They wouldn't have set a time without making sure about me. I wasn't holding out on you. I just thought it'd be safer with me. You're comical. Anybody as comical as you ought to be on the radio. <laughs> OK. That's it. We're in it. Let's hope we get out of it. I didn't want to get in this deep. You know how I stay out of things. They say I gotta go all the way with them. They won't let me out. You're coming all unglued. Go over with it. Relax. Let it happen. What do they want from me? They say I gotta go with them. Out to the racetrack. Why do I have to go with them? If I were you, you gutless wonder, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go with them no matter what. This number seven? Come in. I'll be right out. Fix yourself a drink. Well, thanks. Nice place you got here. Must set you back something. Not me. Well, here you are, H. Morgan. I was beginning to think you weren't human. Well, I'm human. I'm in love with the back of your neck. I like the way your hair grows back there. Hmm? 
Nothing. Uh, that guy in the bar, what was that all about? Forget it. Forget you ever saw it. You like the place, huh? It's nice, isn't it? What do you do for a living? Apartment store. I sell perfume. You like it? No. Why don't you get out of it? I like to smell nice. Don't I smell nice? You're nervous. What are you so nervous about? Harry, you like me? You like me at all? Why don't you go home to your wife? I guess I'd better. I'm such a smart girl. I had it all figured out a long time ago. If you don't let it mean anything, it won't mean anything. I mean, this time it was supposed to. But it didn't, did it? Nothing at all. You don't care about me one way or another, do you? I will finish this and shove off. Sure you do that. But thanks, it's been a lot of fun knowing you. After all, a guy can be in love with his wife and still want something exciting to happen. <laughs> you women, you remember everything a guy says and then you hit him with it. I don't like to think I'm not exciting. I haven't got much else. Harry, what's the matter with me? Maybe I already got enough excitement in my life. I'm sorry. Forget it. It's like that sometimes. It happens to everybody. Maybe I should have combed my hair or something as simple as that. I don't even know why I like you. Memory, maybe. I had a choice to make once between all this and a guy with no money and broken fingernails, like you. I guess way down inside me someplace, I voted for broken fingernails. I should have paid attention. Goodbye, Harry Morgan. Don't slam the door on your way out. Once I wouldn't have walked out like this, no matter what. Once everything went just the way I wanted it. I couldn't make a mistake. I was like that. I was eight feet tall all the time. Not anymore. You're in trouble? Up to my eyes, I'm in trouble. Whatever it is, let it go. I got no choice. All I got left to peddle is guts. I'm not sure I got any. I have to find out. Anyhow, uh, don't blame yourself for this. Goodbye, Leona. Oh, uh, tell me something. It sounds silly, but there's a reason. You got any moles? Huh? Moles, you got any? Everybody's got moles. <laughs> I would have bust out laughing. I keep thinking about tomorrow. What'll happen tomorrow? The only way is to figure it out. All the way. Beginning with when they get there. They have to force me to go. They have to force me to go. There'll be a reward. I'll do what Lucy wants. I'm doing it for her. And the reward. And I have to do it alone. Better alone. That's it, then. I'm doing it for Lucy and the reward. What time is it? Oh, a little after 11. Well, why didn't you wake me? You were so restless last night, I thought you'd want to sleep. I, uh, I got, I got some work to do on the, uh, on the boat. Oh, why don't you stay home today? I'm almost through here. We can go to the beach. The kids are down there already. Well, some, some people are coming to look at the boat. What for? To buy, maybe. Shut that off. Gonna sell the boat? Yeah, yeah. The house too, everything. We'll go someplace. Start all over. There'll be no more of that. You'd sell a sea queen for me? I didn't thinking about it. Then we'd go to Frisco, like we used to in the old days. Remember that hotel? We'll go there. Maybe. It all depends. What time is it? A little after 11. I 
I guess you're in a hurry. I'll fix you something to eat. Uh, coffee, just coffee. What's that for? I don't want you to know about it. Any part of it. If it comes out all right, I'll tell you about it sometime. Supposing it doesn't come out? Then... Then you'll hear about it. You'll hear about it, all right? What are you up to? Harry, you have to think of me and the kids. You have to do right. I'm doing right. You'll only listen to me. I have. I heard everything you ever told me. Get into a different business, you said. Well, this is my business. This is what I'm good at. It's a job, like any other job. I did worse in the Philippines, and I got a medal for it. This is different. I'm doing it for us. Not if you have to take a gun with you, you're not. I'm just being careful, that's all. A gun doesn't mean anything unless it goes off. I got a right to be careful. I know you. You've got that stubborn, stupid look on your face you always get. When you're going to do something you know isn't right. But you're going to do it anyway, because that's the way you are. Only don't tell me it's for us. Just don't give me that. I'll never say yes to that. I'm sorry I ever married you. I'm just trying to get a little ahead. See, I'm way behind. This is the only way out. The only way. After it's over, we'll sell a boat, go to Frisco, do anything you want. Anything. I don't want you to get into trouble. That's what I want. It won't be anything I can't handle. I... I have to go now. Lucy, I have to go. Go on, then. You won't listen to me. Go on, then. I may be gone a couple of days. I left some money for you on the dresser, enough to make it all right that I'm going. I won't be here when you get back. I've had enough, more than enough. I've done everything I could to keep us together. But you don't want it like that. You act like you're all alone. You've been like that ever since you came back from Mexico. What's this you're doing now? Same thing all over again. Go on, then. This time I won't be here when you get back. Me or the kids. If that's the way you want it, all right. Some gal passing the half-mile pose. 
It's deep secret in front. On the inside, by a half. Wait, wait. Don't leave me here. By a lengthy for boyish third. By two lengths. Major Operator. Out on the outside. Operator. And King Region. Some gals moving very fast to the middle of the track. Turning for home. Get paper boy. In front, drawing hard and uh, coming close. And Major Al wins it uh, by one length. Paper Boy is second ahead, and some gal is third in front uh, of Deep Secret. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, your attention. We sold all tickets until the result of the race has been declared official. And in winning the Oakfield handicap this afternoon. A new track record of two minutes, one and one fifth seconds. Make him take it easy. We don't want no tickets. Hey, Harry. Thought I'd come down and see if there's any chance for something doing. No, I, I can't get a party. I would have called you if I had anything. You know that. Well, I was hoping. My old woman is sick of having me around the house, she says. Why don't you smack her? You smack her. See what happens. <laughs> I don't want to hold you up. I, I know you got other things to do. And... Well, I got nothing else to do, you know that. I've been meaning to varnish that panel a couple of weeks now. It's a good time to do it. No sense varnishing today. I have to work on the engines. What's the matter with them? Oh, uh, the plugs on the port side. I, I think they're cooked. No, I checked the plugs a couple of days ago. They're fine. I say we need plugs. Yeah, okay. Let's fire him up and find out. There's nothing wrong with those plugs. Huh? Well, we better have some just the same. Go down to Porter's Hardware store and get six of them. Hey, what's the matter with you? You act like you're trying to get rid of me. Come on. Where's the boat? There it is, you fool. That, that ain't the boat. That's the captain. Come on. Hey, what's this all about? Do what I told you. Go on, get out of here. Get out of here! OK, come on, come on, get going. Get that stuff out of sight. Get that rope off. Come on, come on, make it fast. Let's go, Cappy. Harry, don't do it, Harry. Let's go, Cappy. Get that rope off. Let's go, I said. Come on. Time. He's got to go slow in the channel. That's what the will said, or they'll come after him. We're going to go out of here crawling like this? Lie down there, flat, all of you. Come on. I'll keep Cappy covered. What's the matter, Cappy? You lost your nerve? Huh? It's a friend of yours. Bothers you, we killed him. I didn't figure that. Not at all. What's that for? What are you doing that for? He always waves, and I always wave back. Next is the Coast Guard. That's when you sweat your crud. Watch your mouth. You watch it. You're working yourself up into something, Cappy. Don't get any ideas. You yell at that Coast Guard and you get yours right now and a couple of those Coast Guard boys will go with you, so think it over.
can I Coast Guard cut it through? 20, maybe more. Then go 20. You tear the boat apart in this chopper. Yeah, you won't care long. <laughs> Here, we're going to the other side of Catalina Island, way out to where it's marked. Hold this wheel steady, will you? Uh, anything that can catch us now? Plane. It'll soon be done. Can we hear a radar? That's why we're going to the other side of Catalina Island. Bubba? See, by the time they figure out how we got away, we'll be gone, right? What do you think? Of course, it's 120. He said, what do you think our chances are? He saw about his friend. What'd you kill him for? I'm very sorry. You don't know how badly I feel about him now. I got excited. Well, I don't let him kid you when it's your turn to go. So want to watch for the Coast Guard, Big Mouth. Yeah, you're up. Here, take the wheel. Huh? I have to check the motors. Go on, it's just like a car. Just steer it. Keep the line on 120. Even. That's right. Hey, hey, what's the matter? What are you doing? The operators are running a little thin for this speed. Hey! Hey, your friend here! No sense carrying him? Drum over. I never knew what hit him. Come on, come on, get it over. Here. You know, the heaviest thing in the world is a dead man. You ever lift a dead man before? Sure, plenty of times. Not many friends, though. What you do with it? With what? You know what? You threw it over. You're crazy. Crazy, uh, am I? You did it on purpose. Give me a gun, I'll kill you. Threw it over. I'll Shut up. Him. You're looking for any trouble, Cappy? Huh? I'd just as soon see you all with your guts hanging out. Got any guns aboard? Any guns at all? Where are they? I was gonna show you. You just tell me where he'll go. In the locker. You got any shells? How do you think you're gonna get the way you're going? say about you? I know everything they could say. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Duncan? He's dead. He wasn't very smart. You're smart. Yeah. You're so smart, I was wondering why you took this job. A thousand dollars. Uh-huh. You know what I think? I think you wanted a reward. Yeah, you had some corny idea about capturing us for the reward. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Here, take it a while. I want to get my jacket. I'm cold. Cold, huh? On the feet, maybe? Want some need, huh? Uh, clear channel. Please stay off this channel. This is Charlie George, Point Dawn, the Coast Guard, asking for a clear channel on this frequency. Clear channel. Please stay off this channel. 
This is Charlie George, Point Dome, the Coast Guard, asking for a clear channel on this frequency. Want a drink? I never drink. You're very nervous. That's because I've never been killed before. thought I hadn't gotten him. A man alone. A man alone ain't got no chance. A man alone ain't got no chance. No chance. The Coast Guard at Point Dome to William Charlie 6497, the Sea Queen. Come in, please. Come in, please. The Sea Queen, come in, please. BBY 27805 to Newport. Have spotted Sea Queen. Location map reference 180D4. Repeat 180D4. Boat is not moving. No signs of life aboard.
happened out there? Come on, give. It isn't too late to get some sleep if you come across. Well, it looks like Morgan shot them all. He shot up himself. Morgan, too, huh? Is he hurt bad? From what they tell me, he's so close to being dead, it doesn't matter. Oh, no. No. Mama! Oh, Mama! Here they come. on board, Mrs. Morgan. The children better wait up there. You wait up there. The quicker the better with this. Your husband's left arm will have to be amputated. We need permission to do it. I can't do that. I can't. He won't give us permission. He won't even let us take him ashore. He'll die if we don't get him to a hospital and operate right away. You'd better talk to him. The kids are with me. They're outside waiting. We've been waiting a long time. You're not going to cut my arm off. You'll die, Harry. I'll die. Let me die. I'll die. It isn't just you. I'll die, too. I won't be anything anymore. You don't want that. It's like passing cars on a hill. With luck, yeah, maybe. No luck. No luck. Well, I sleep nights. You know I can't sleep when you're gone. When you're away in a trip, I, I don't sleep. Harry, don't leave me all alone. Well, the man alone ain't got no chance. Tell Lucy, tell her. Tell... I'm here, darling. I'm always here. <sighs> Lucy. Lucy, I need you. I thought I lost you. I need you. No. I thought you were gone. No, never. Oh, I'll save you. I'll sleep. You have to do something before you go to sleep. sleep. You have to tell me what to do. They want to take your arm off, Harry. Don't say no, you'll die if they don't. I need you. Will you stay with me? Will we be all right then? Will we be all right? Yes, darling. Tom, Tom, go ahead. Anything you say, I need you. Don't leave me. Don't, don't leave me. I love you, darling. You're more of a man than anybody I ever met. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Break it up, folks. Let's go. 